Today we're going to learn about the Beebot. This is our Beebot robot. As you can notice, it has some buttons, some orange buttons, and some green buttons at the top of the robot. It also has two blue buttons. Now, in order to control our Beebot, we have to use these buttons on top. This button right here makes the Beebot go forward. This button makes the robot go back. This button makes him turn to the right, so it will make him just move, twist to the right. And this button will make the robot turn to the left. So it will just make him turn or twist and kind of rotate to the left. After giving the robot our commands or our directions we want him to do, we have to then press the go button to actually make him follow what we want him to do. Then he'll actually do what we just coded him to do. After you tell him what to do and you've pressed go, he will follow those directions and then you'll need to press this X button. This X button clears out the directions that you just told him to do. That way you can give him new directions. This button over here is our pause button. That's if you just want him to pause or wait five seconds. So now let's try some commands. So we have to wake him up because he just went to sleep. You can press any button to wake him up. You always want to start by pressing the X just in case someone else did not clear out the directions. Now we're going to try making him go forward two times. So I pressed the forward button two times and then I'm going to make him turn right. Now let's press go and see what he does. So as you can see, he went forward twice and he turned right, but he didn't actually go right. In order to make him go right, you would have to press the forward button after you make him turn. So we're gonna clear out those directions we're going to make him go forward two times like we just did, turn right, but then this time we're going to make him go forward so he actually goes that direction. Now let's see what he does. All right, so this time you can see that he went forward two times turned right, and then actually went to the right because we pressed forward. So now let's see if we can try some together.